This is Brandon from the Kite Porter Magazine. I'm here at AWSI in Hood River, Oregon, and I'm here with Nico and Tituan from uh, from F1, and we're here to talk about uh, a new product, a new category, uh, the swing, where does wing it fit? surfer. Yeah, where does it belong? We are not so sure yet. It kind of belongs to um, um, to a lot of people. Yeah. Um, probably kiteboarders, kite foilers, wind foilers, wind surfers. Uh, surfers, surf foilers, and just somebody that just has not done any of that. Like entry level, coming to wind sports, mm -hmm. a great way to experience the the pull of the wind. So, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really it's really a brand new product that did not exist like in in that form six months ago. Uh, quick turnaround for F1. Um, Pretty much everybody, right? Everybody's yeah. kind of looking at this. It's a new segment. Everyone's kind of going out, throwing their first models out. So Exactly. And so for us, it was all about trying to find something that uh, was very light, um, had somewhat of a big range. Uh, even though initially we thought, okay, the, the wing is only for uh, high wind conditions, but it turns out that's not the case. Um, two weeks ago, uh, we were in Mauritius, and we were using the swing in less than 10 knots. So it's clearly not just a, um, something for uh, where you need a lot of wind at okay. all. Yeah, and I, I know that I just saw some video of T T2 in Maui, and uh, you were you were out there in really light wind, just just like killing it, right? Yeah, yeah. I was using it in less than 10 knots. Yeah. yeah. So, so what size? 3.5, but with a sub. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, but you were just doing laps and catching little waves and having super fun. So it definitely is a pretty you know, like for those people that are a little worried that it has a narrow kind of use, it's actually much wider. Um, I think it's much wider than you, uh, than we think. Yeah. Uh, I have seen somebody go with a windsurf and a dagger board and just cruise around, yeah. leave, come back. Um, for somebody that uh, wants to foil, but it's somewhat, um, it's not a kite foiler, and that's a great way, easy way to get foiling. Yeah. Easy way. It's, it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun for us. We have uh, we can talk about the product a little bit, but yeah. um, tell us some about the product attributes. So um, oh, we we have somewhat of a big range, you know, from the two two, um, two eight, three five, four two five, and also a six coming up. So we cover um, a lot of range. Okay, uh, so our our swing is is known to be uh, super stable. Uh, very rigid, which is very important. That's a key attribute, uh, and super light. Uh, you can also see. Uh, so those are the um, the handle. Uh, just very simple, and again, being simple um, means super light and being super efficient. Um, this one is the 4.2, I believe. We also have a. Uh, I believe we are the only one to have this. Yeah, I think um, that's a unique product attrib attribute. Is um, is that? And um, and teach you. I'm just curious in terms of this. I know I know when I watch you use it, you're pretty much just strong arming it the whole time. But um, what it, what is the application of, of of this? Yeah, I'm not using it at all. But I think it's gonna help, like for long tack. Beginners that are just starting to figure it out, they can hook in. Tax, uh, when you're a bit overpowered, maybe on a big size. I only use small size, so maybe that's why I don't feel so much pressure in my arms. But maybe on a big size, I will use it, yeah. And then I think part of this, right, Nico, is that for this wing, it's a pretty lightweight canopy, and that's because it's it's it pretty simple. Super simple. No window. No window. Um, um, maybe in the future there will be one, but um, at the moment, um, there is no film that is light enough where we can not add weight onto it. Right. So, um, and we feel like it's not a must-have uh, feature anyway. Um, you have right. For the performance end user, um, lightweight is like one of the key. That, it, that, right? Exactly. And so, what also we believe in is a lot of people, like you, for example, you love to uh, to use a wing to go catch uh, swell or wing swell uh, to do downwinders and the idea to free fly when you foil um, is is very appealing and uh, uh, the swing is really good at this where you can just hang hang on to it and just forget about it. 
And, and T2, kind of in terms of technique, in terms of using it, like what, can you kind of like run me through what you, how you use these handles? Like maybe even show, run, like show me what a water start looks like for, for you. Uh, like on a normal board? Yeah. Yeah, I think for most of the people, the easiest part is to start like this on the knee, take some speed, and once you get a bit of speed, you can go up and yeah, basically take it like this. It's yeah, quite easy. You have to have your front arm really straight to put it up in here and catch some more wind. And yeah, that's basically. And you're, and you're mainly using this front handle and the, yeah. and the far back yeah, handle. Yeah, that's yeah. the one I use. And what about that? What do you use yeah, that that's for? Yeah, that's when, like, when you want to, yeah, as you say, surface uh, wing swell or a real good swell. Yeah. You just take this one and you have 100% uh, the power. You feel nothing, so you can just basically surf. So, so if you were carving like that with the with your what are you? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so like that. And, you, you and you're gonna hold it like yeah, that. Yeah, you can hold that? it like that. You can pass here if you want. Uh -huh. You can do whatever you want, but you do almost nothing because it's light. Yeah. So that, um, that's the main part. Like I, I like to do yeah in the waves with it. Yeah. Um, you're you're kind of one of the first guys I saw t to like do jumping on it, which looks really challenging. But like, what's what's the most what right now is the most challenging thing with with wing surfing that you're working on for you? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I went in Maui the past few weeks, and I've tried doing maybe some tricks. I don't know. Maybe in the future we'll do maybe back loop, front loop. I I don't know yet. I, I've tried back loop. No success yet. Not success, but it's coming. Tasting it, you taste yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's coming. Soon. But yeah, jumps definitely. It's it's easy. You, like with a wave, you can go really high. Just need a good board, good straps. Yeah, that's it. Um, and then I mean, the, the other key component I think that needs to be discussed with this is is board, right? Yep. Like because um, like a wing is a huge part of it, but I think the the other huge part of this new sport is the actual board, right? Um, because. Like, maybe t tell me a little bit about your evolution in terms of board size, right? Like, the first time I tried, uh, I've tried with a normal soup, like 6.0 or 6.5, I don't know. But since I get better and better, I, I went to smaller, smaller board, and now I'm riding a four-fit board. So, yeah, it's, it's better, but you need good wind to water start. Yeah, but it's more, you can carve more. It's Be more aggressive with yeah, your boards. Yeah, the the yeah. foil is really reactive on the small board, yeah. but you've just got to have the power yeah, to get your. Right. Yeah. But yeah, to learn for sure, you need uh, this yeah, 665 six, SUP. Mm -hmm. And on the light wind, as you said, under, I don't know, under 15 knots, you need SUP anyway. Like you can use a small board, yeah, you need above 20 knots, I think. Because you guys, F1's designing special specialty boards that are designed right that to kind of maximize your water launch but your fun yeah they're gonna do a few size of board i know like from four maybe four five five zero five eight there will be different volume that, five, ten. yeah five ten so you can basically have a, the one you need for your level yeah cool we call it the the rocket wing or rocket swing series okay because right now basically that rocket swing series will fit or sit in between the rocket surf series which we use for surf foiling and the rocket sup series which we use for uh, sup foiling because i think right now what people are doing is they're taking sub foils yeah. and kind of bootstrapping them into this sport but the, there's actually some very specific criteria that you want in the board and that's why a specific product category makes sense for, for wing surfing. Yeah. yeah. Ultimately we can recommend at this time about fifteen kilos in volume over your own weight. So if you are eighty kilos, yeah. we can uh, think that a ninety five liters port um, should be a good port for you. Maybe not to start, but when you are that's where you want to be when you, you once you've be. got your exactly. water starts down and you're mm -hmm. yeah dialed a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, that, I think that's pretty good info. info. And um, if someone's looking for more info, where would they go? What website? So you can go to f1.world. Okay. And there is a foil section. I think the swing we is in multiple. It's under the foil category. I, I, had a, foil I had a friend ask me now. recently. I couldn't find it, but it's under the foil. Oh, okay. All right. But we, I think we have it also uh, under the kite category as well. Or just use Google. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Nico, hey, thank you very much. Tituan, thank you. Uh, this guy's definitely one guy to watch in the sport, kind of pushing the limits. So yeah, we're looking for good things from uh, from you for sure. All right, thanks.